welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home holiday event wedding and DIY decor today I'm gonna show you how to make a Minnie Mouse centerpiece and set up here we go Today I'm going to be making a Minnie Mouse centerpiece. She is also three feet tall, just like Mickey, but there is a couple of little details that she has that Mickey doesn't have because after all, she is a girl and we are height maintenance. <laughs> That's what I say, right? Um, all right, let's get started. I'm going to start off by painting two large plastic bowls from Dollar Tree in gloss berry pink. I'm also going to paint two small round bases from Dollar Tree in the very same color. While I let the other two items dry, I'm going to move on to Minnie's gloves. And I'm going to be using two Beth gloves from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be cutting them down because they're a little bit too big. And I want to, you know, cut them to be proportioned with the rest of the body. I'm going to cut this down a bit and cut these down a bit as well. And then I'm going to glue with hot glue. Now I'm going to cut it all the way open. So I'm going to cut right here. As so, okay. And then I am going to glue it together again inside out once the glue is dry you are going to turn it over again and here's what it should look like now I'm going to add some fiber fill inside the glove. So you're just going to push it in until it's all nice and fluffy. And here's one glove, one more to go. All right, so here are my two bowls ready to go. I'm going to be using one for the lower and for the upper part of the body or the dress, same thing. And I'm going to move this one to the side and I'm going to work on the lower part of the body AKA dress. So I'm going to be making polka dots. And what I'm going to need is just something that you may have around the house, this round. I'm going to use this chocolate coin. That's right, I'm using a chocolate coin. <laughs> but you can use whatever you have around the house. And I'm just going to randomly, you know, make dots all around the bowl. So here they are all around. I know that you can barely see it, but you'll be able to see it as soon as I start painting. And that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm going to go ahead and paint them with acrylic white paint. I'm also going to add paint to the upper bowl, but before I can do that, I'm going to put mini together because I'm going to freehand <laughs> some of the painting on this one. So I kind of like need to see what's going to be proportioned. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing this together and I'm only going to use hot glue. I'm gonna turn my bowls over and I'm going to glue them together. 
Now I'm going to add glue to this side of the bowl. And then I'm gonna go on this side of the bowl. Make sure the bowl is centered both sideways and forward and back. And by the way, I wish I would have told you this before I close the bowl, but I'm gonna tell you on this one. When applying glue to the lower bowl, uh, apply glue towards the inside of the bowl, not the outside. So when you place this one on top, the glue doesn't push forward and then you'll be able to see clumps and you know it's gonna look you know nasty and tacky. You wanna look as neat as possible as it looks right here. So once again, make sure to apply it towards the inside, not at the edge, okay? So I'm going to go with this look right here or you can choose to use this one or whichever, there's many, okay? But I'm gonna go for this one. I'm going to draw a uh, collar that she has. She has a button and a collar, or if you would like, you can put polka dots all over as well. I'm going to use a quarter to make the button that goes right underneath the collar. make Minnie's face and I'm going to be using a 24 inch black balloon from Party City. This comes in a packet of four and I chose to use this because the giant balloons tend to be more round than the you know the typical 12 inch balloons plus you know it needs to be big enough to be proportioned to the rest of the body. I also by the way rinsed out a balloon because uh, since it's latex they happen to um, have this you know powdery residue so you can do that I didn't tell you that on uh, the video for Mickey but uh, yeah so you can rinse it out with water and just dry it out okay once you have the ideal size you are going to tie and then you are going to cut the excess uh, balloon here I'm now switching to my low temperature gun so I'm able to glue the balloon on top of my bowl without popping it. And there she is. Now I am going to use 9 inch black balloons to make her ears. My next step is to add Minnie's gloves on the body, but in order for them to sit straight or sit solid on the body, I have to add two foam balls inside the gloves, and I'm going to have to also cut about a quarter of it off so it can be flat, because that's where I'm going to add the glue. So once you cut those off, you are going to place it inside the glove. Now I'm going to switch back to my high temperature gun so I can glue Minnie's gloves on the body. Now I'm going to use this one and a half inch ribbon that I got from Michaels to make Minnie's bow on top of her head. Uh, this is pink with white polka dots and I wish it was whiter. Two and a half, three inches would have been nice because um, her head is kind of big. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm just gonna put it on her and make it work. And um, let me show you how to make a bow. I am going to make this wider uh, by adding more ribbon to it because I know that this is going to bother me because it's way too thin and it's going to look silly on top of Minnie's big head. <laughs> so um, I'll be right back. So the ideal ribbon to make Minnie's bow will be a two and a half inch wire ribbon and of course in pink with white polka dots. Uh, but since I, <laughs> for some reason, thought that I will find that ribbon at Michael's because I thought I saw it. Uh, 
but they didn't have it and then I didn't get a chance to go to Hobby Lobby or order it. So um, I'm going to work with what I have. And um, I had this from Easter and it's wired. And what I'm going to do is um, glue my uh, polka dot ribbon on top of the wire ribbon. So I'm going to need two strips and then I'm going to go ahead and shape it into a bow. Now I'm going to have each end meet in the middle just like I did with the smaller one earlier. And now I'm going to cut another little piece to pull the whole bow together. And this, my friends, is how you make it work. <laughs> now I'm going to um, put it right on top of Minnie, right there. So I decided to give Minnie a tool skirt last minute. I just wanted her to have a little bit of a, mm, you know, a little bit of all the fabulousness she's giving me right now. I just wanted a different look because she's a girl. She needs more than one look. <laughs> so you can definitely go the traditional way or you can add the skirt to give her a little extra, extra, extra. Um, and I'm going to give you a close up so I can show you how I accomplished this. To make Minnie's tool skirt is going to be extremely easy. All you have to do is run to Dollar Tree <laughs> and grab two of these pink tool skirts. They are princess skirts and you are going to split both of them open in half and you are going to glue one from here to this other half and then the second one you are going to do the same in the back. You are going to glue from here to there and that's pretty much it. All right, guys, this is it. This is my Minnie Mouse centerpiece, and she is absolutely adorable. She is very cute and very easy to make, just like Mickey. So I ended up adding a princess skirt or a tutu that I found at Dollar Tree just to give her a different look. So what do you think? Tutu or no tutu? Skirt or no skirt? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet there's the button right there <laughs> also leave me a comment let me know what you thought of my mini mouse centerpiece let me know whether you like the skirt or you like her without the skirt or just leave me a comment anyway because you know I love to chit chat with you guys all the time and Share, share, share. Sharing is caring. If you know of a friend or a family member who is having a birthday party for their kids or for somebody somewhere, <laughs> make sure to share with them because you'll be able to save them a buck or two because this centerpiece was about 15 bucks. Less than 20 bucks, guys. That is cheap. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye.